Hey guys, I decided to do a uh, trip out here at Raccoon Creek and uh, was aiming to do 20 miles today. So, you know, hope it goes well. This is kind of con to condition me for the Appalachian Trail. And especially since on day three, I'm aiming to do about 19 miles to get to where I'm going uh, on my through hike. So making sure I can handle carrying everything over 20 miles. So this will be a good test, for sure. I got some new clothing. I got this buff. These five inch inseam running shorts. Oh yeah. Gotta stay cool out here when it's warm. Feels great. Kinda like right here where this is the trail uh, out here at Raccoon. They don't do too much trail maintenance, but it is definitely a nice 20 mile loop. And uh, yeah, it's the closest. So I come out here and kind of just deal with some of uh, the uh, fallen trees. My recommendation is to hike this in the winter, fall, well, my recommendation is to hike this in the winter or spring time, maybe summer because uh, once the uh, brush comes out, it gets very dense and uh, there's usually a lot of ticks on this trail so I wouldn't recommend as much coming out in summer because all the uh, leaves will be on the trees and it's all overgrown usually. So right now, I'm just using the uh, selfie uh, camera to film right now. Put my arm out, but what do you guys think? Should I should I get like a tripod and or a monopod to kind of film this a little bit better? I definitely just want to use my camera for right now, uh, at least with the filming. But so maybe some filming equipment that I might need or to make the uh, videos look a little bit better while on the trail. Um, just leave your suggestions in the comments below. Thanks. So the plan right now is uh, to actually fly in to Atlanta Sunday 25th and then I'm gonna get a shuttle by Ron's shuttle to come pick me up. He also will provide me with some fuel that will pick up for me. That's already included in the charge. And then I'm gonna hit the trail that day because I'm getting in so early on uh, Sunday. So I'll just do a short, like 11 miles to get to, what was it called? Uh, shelter right after Springer Mountain Shelter and stay there. I heard it's a little bit better than uh, the Springer Mountain Shelter, so I'll, I'll aim for going there the first day. So that's that's at least the initial plan, and we'll go from there. So after the first day, I'm going to uh, aim to get into Neil's Gap on the, the third day. Since I am starting at Amicolola Falls, that means I'm gonna have to do an extra about 8.8 .8 miles. So getting to uh, Neil's Gap would be nice if I could get there by day three. And I have a uh, small drop box where I'm gonna have two days of food so that I'll have enough food to get me to Hiawassee Gap. And uh, yeah, they offer a free shuttle with their uh, at the budget inn if you stay there and it's only forty dollars for the budget inn also there they have uh, some laundry 
that you can do when they have a actual grocery store that I can resupply at. So I'm trying to get to uh, a really good resupply point. So I'm gonna just get a little bit of food at Neil's Gap to make me get me to Iwasi. So that's the plan, but um, two of the days are gonna be long days, 19 miles. And uh, if I can't do that, I might have to push it back a day and maybe buy some more food at Neil's Gap to get me one extra day in. So that's like the backup plan for me in case I can't get to Hiawassee in five days. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I switched it up and got a uh, new trucker's hat. This uh, Patagonia trucker's hat. I kinda like the way it looks. It's a lot more comfortable than my other one. So I uh, wanted something a little more comfortable and it's working great. At least so far. Some people might know, this is uh, one of my favorite sections of Raccoon, where there's just rows of pine trees to walk through along here. It's, it's just so peaceful. Uh, so, almost to the car now. I made it back after hiking, I would say about 19 miles, and that about wraps it up. I know video is not too long, but it was just an update to let you guys know what's going on uh, on my upcoming through hike. So, but I'm glad that you guys joined me for a little bit, and thanks for watching. Sticks, sticks everywhere. It's just a bunch of sticks. The views of winter hiking. When it's not snowing out.